G. Hey, all right, welcome back. That was amazing. For those of you just tuning in, you missed it. Sorry, but you're watching Stop the Steal TV. No, you thought you were tuning in for Liquid Lunch, right? Okay, that's going to return shortly after Donald Trump is uh, certified as the president again. But from now until the end of this whole mess that we're in right now, you tune in here every day for all the facts you need to know to stand on your principles and stop the steal. Because Donald Trump's path to victory is still very well at hand. And uh, today we found another great patriot and a great advocate um, to bring in truth to our elections, fair and freedom to our elections. John Schneider, uh, Bo Duke, um, Clark Kent's dad in Smallville, partner with uh, Marie Osmond. Oh, Marie Osmond, so pretty. Um, in the Children's Miracle Network. And he was talking about his great new movie that's coming out. It's called Stand On It. And it's a uh, tribute movie to uh, the great films uh, Smokey and the Bandit, or some great stuff. Okay. Now, um, we have a lot to talk about. I want to um, talk about Dinesh D'Souza. Dinesh D'Souza, um, he's a great friend of Michael Johns. You know Michael Johns, he's on with us every Friday. He's the co-founder of the Tea Party movement. Um, Dinesh D'Souza, Michael Johns, and Tucker Carlson all worked together um, for a right-wing publication way back when, okay? And um, Dinesh D'Souza is explaining the differences um, between a glitch and a bug. And, you know, it's kind of... It's yesterday. It's kind of... Do we... Ha oh, that was yesterday's. Okay, so we don't have the tweet from... That was, that was, my, that was my fault. Um, okay. Um, GFX 12. Now, Emma Robinson is the, the White House reporter for Newsmax TV. If you're not watching Newsmax TV, you need your head examined because at least they're calling it like they see it over there. And there's a lot of great things happening over there. But Emerald says the corporate media doesn't want to tell you the 2020 election will be decided in the courts. And the courts listen to evidence, sworn affidavits, expert witnesses, testimony from eyewitnesses. You know all the stuff that Rudy, Sidney, and Linwood are gathering. So there is a lot to know. Um, and in GFX 15, Donald Trump's got this army of attorneys out there, army of attorneys. Where they're, they're descending on states everywhere, Georgia, Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin. Um, and this is Jenna Ellis, okay, and this is tweeted by Dinesh D'Souza. Um, the mainstream media want you to think the election is over. It's not. Trump lawyer Jenna Ellis drops a bombshell on 700,000 illegal votes. So, you know, you figure that out. Um, and um, GFX 19 talks about uh, Kamala Harris. Okay. She is supposedly in line to be the vice president if all this stuff pans out for the Biden team. But it turns out that, you know, when Barack Obama won, he was a senator from Illinois. And when Barack Obama resigned from the Senate on November 3rd, 2008, Today is November 15th, and Kamala Harris still has not resigned her seat. Just goes to show you that even they don't believe that they'll be able to steal this election. So Kamala Harris um, still hasn't stepped down from a Senate seat, so I guess she's not that confident that she's going to be the vice president. And by the way, um, when she does step down from that seat, you can rest assured that people across the whole country are going to be sitting there going for that seat to take another one for the Republicans. We're getting two in Georgia. That's the way I see it. We're going to have control. I think we're going to have Trump in the White House. And you stick with us. And you help us spread the word because we have to stop the steal. Back after this.